Hello, this little video is to show you how you can create a painted look border or frame to some of your paintings. It's very easy to follow along and I will um, put the nozzles that I'm, I will be using on my website for free so you can download them there if you'd like. The first thing you have to do is open up a picture that you want to have framed and this is from a painting I did um, a few years ago of one of our horses out in the water being trained so I thought it would be kind of fun to show you at first what you can end up with for different looks. This frame was made by using a nozzle that's actually from my flower nozzles. Um, this one is also from the plants. I used a grass nozzle and went around the edges and this one is um, another one of my nozzles from my plant category. Um, this last one is one I have some painted stroke nozzles that I use to go over it and this works in that same mask type technique so I'm going to show you from the beginning how to make your own with any nozzles that you already have or ones that you find on the web and download. The first thing you want to do is add a layer above your painting and fill it with white. Make sure you're set to white and that your background is set to pure black. Fill that layer in and set that layer to screen. Be sure you have that setting or it's not going to work correctly for you. The next thing, choose your paintbrush which is going to be an image hose and you're going to pick that out of your painter brushes. Now to show you the nozzles that I have to choose from, you open up your window and go down to your media control panels, media library panels, and choose nozzles. Um, the, this is the same flower that I used on that first one. And to show you how this works, you choose a nozzle, but instead of the flower, I have a water one I created myself, and it's a big splash drop you have to set your grain on your nozzle to zero. Be sure you set that down. And because I know this is a large nozzle, I'm going to make it a pretty good size so that when it blanks out, the you can see the water splashes on the edges. Now you just start painting in the center of your painting and it clears like a mask does for the painting. And as you can see, every time I'm pushing down, I'm getting some of that water mask. So that's just one of the ideas. It looks like a splash around the horse. So I can go back and uh, clear this layer and pour my white back in again. And it's still set to screen and choose another nozzle just so that you get the ideas. Under my plants, if I choose, say, this fern, it's a full-size fern, and I'm going to set this one down, not quite so big, and get some of those fern leaves to show around the edge. You see um, what's coming out is the fern leaves, but as you paint and get your picture back, it can almost look like different wildly placed paint strokes. So I think this gives you an idea that the choices are unlimited to the type of painterly look frame you can get. I'll do one more just so that you understand the technique it's really pretty simple. Um, I'm going to throw this layer away. Now put above your canvas an, a layer, fill it with completely filled with white, 
set the layer to screen. Be sure and when you choose your nozzle brush set the grain to zero. That's very important also. And you have to have black as your background. Then pick anything like here is a single red flower. Now I've got it pretty good sized but you can see by putting this on the bottom it kind of looks like paint drops have splattered down and then I can take another flower and fill in to get rid of some of those leaves so I still get that plenty paint like dripping splash around the edge. You can mix nozzles um, and you'll come out with just all different types of effects. So uh, this is really a fun one to play with and get some new masked edges. And I um, hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed this. Please check my website at www.the22s.com and I'll have lots of flower and grass and different nozzles there for you to download.